Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, our final speaker before our coffee break is here to talk about the infrastructure, talent and technology that underpin creative properties. Uh, Tim just touched on that just now. Uh, but we're going to hear from Ivan Dunleavy, who spent his career in media businesses. He started out in finance roles and is now chief executive of Pinewood Shepperton, a studio often described as the home of independent film production. Now, Ivan has had hoped to be in conversation today with actor and director Sir Kenneth Branagh, but sadly Kenneth had to change his plans. He can't be with us. I am pleased to say that we have a very good substitute in the form of Ed Vasey. Uh, he can rejoin us now, and he and Ivan are going to discuss why the UK is one of the leading destinations for the makers of creative content and how the right combination of infrastructure, skills, and technology can bring creative ideas to life. So please welcome Ivan Dunleavy and Ed Vasey. Good morning, everyone. I forgot to apologise this morning for not being Jeremy Hunt. So let me apologise for not being Sir Kenneth Branagh. <laughs> I know it's a huge disappointment. But Ivan Dunleavy doesn't need to apologise for not being Ivan Dunleavy. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Great to have the chance to talk about Pinewood Shepherd. But I think, first of all, we're going to show a movie. I think all of these uh, talks begin with a movie. So we're going to show, I hope, if people are listening to what I'm saying, a tape about the huge success that is Pinewood Shepherdton. A little bit of the last 75 years. There is an industry whose product since the turn of the 20th century has transformed the lives of millions of people. It employs the best in their field, British people who lead their global peers and whose work can be seen on cinema and television screens in every country in the world. It combines creativity and technology to bring laughter, tears, thrills, and visions of worlds unimaginable. Gosh. And just to the west of London, close to the M25 in the county of Buckinghamshire, is its home. That huge place over there? I love it! This is Pinewood Studios, the heart of the British film and television industry, and the largest production facility in Europe, with a reputation for expertise and excellence that has been built over 75 years. They have produced a lot of the most iconic, a lot of the most commercially successful, and a lot of the most critically acclaimed films ever made. Tonight, BAFTA has chosen to honour Pinewood and Shepperton Studios. I first came here in the late 80s to do Batman, and uh, I just immediately fell in love with it because, you know, you walk down the halls and you see the posters of the films that have been shot here and it's just so exciting because it's such a classic studio. The weird thing is that the two big theatres there are called the Powell Theatre and the Pressburger Theatre. Well, Emmerich Pressburger was my grandfather. So it's always very weird coming in and there's a portrait of him on the door. So I come in and I look there and there's my grandfather and I sort of say hello to him every morning on the door and walk in. It's my heritage, my personal heritage. I've filmed everywhere in the world and I think all things considered, what we have to offer here are as good as anything you're going to get in Hollywood. I don't think you'll find as many studios in Hollywood that can accommodate very, very large pictures the same way that Pinewood can. In terms of stage space, workshop space, back lot, paddock tank, there really aren't any stages in Hollywood that can accommodate a picture the sort of size of a Bond picture or any of the other big action films. Pinewood is a key building block of the British film industry. That's what attracts not just the big Hollywood studios to come over here and shoot their big blockbuster movies, employing you know loads and loads of British technicians. Well, all of that inward investment into the facilities benefits people like me who come making smaller British films and, and the facilities are all there. It's great that the infrastructure is constantly being renewed by all of this investment. With the opening of the Pinewood Studios at Iver Heath, Buckinghamshire, one of the finest and best equipped film studios in Europe is dedicated to British film production and the service of the screen. Pinewood Studios was founded in 1936 as the first purpose-built film studios to rival Hollywood. The sponsors claim that in layout and design, the new studios are comfortable with Hollywood's best. And this is obviously appropriate in view of the place that British films have won in the world today. Over the years, Pinewood has adapted, expanded, and innovated to keep ahead of the latest developments. Sound, color, 
television, home video, digital technology, the internet, and now high definition and 3D are all creative and technical leaps which Pinewood has embraced and pioneered. You come to London, you come to Pinewood, you make a movie with the best crews in the world, in the best environment, with the best flexibility, with a sense of history, and that's a winning combination, I think. The facilities and talent provided by and housed within Pinewood Studios play an essential part in bringing the filmmaker's vision to life. Pinewood has 16 film stages, including the 007 stage, which is a 59,000 square foot stage, water facilities, beautiful gardens, and it's a secure place to deliver a film of the complexity of, you know, a James Bond movie. It's every kind of environment, every kind of trickery. The sense of every bit of the industry is there. You're never left wanting for a place to go to, you know, whether it's the Bond stage if you want a very big space or, you know, quite an intimate process stage. It's all here and, you know, if you need visual effects, special effects, you know, for all those ancillaries are right on tap. That flexibility is absolutely fundamental. Only when you work in a place like Pinewood, which is absolutely perfectly designed for filmmakers, do you see the huge difference between being there and being in just an empty uh, studio. And cut. Good, everybody. Very nice. As the moving picture becomes digital, three-dimensional and accessible on all kinds of new devices, Pinewood Studios will continue to invest in the future and help produce the content demanded by a rapidly growing international market. The best part about working here is the quality of the craftspeople and the crew. You know, it's really superb. <laughs> The quality of technicians, the quality of artisans, the organisation. It's a film friendly place where the A-list stars want to come and work. I love this game! Are you not entertained? And that's why I love making movies and that's why I want to keep making movies and that's why I want to keep doing it here. fantastic film, which I last saw uh, being accompanied by a Chinese uh, delegation uh, visiting Pinewood, and we then went on to the Bond set, which was a huge privilege. Obviously, I can't tell anyone uh, what I saw, but a lot of films are filmed at Pinewood, and the statistics are very impressive. I think 13 out of 20 of the top box office hits had some relationship with Pinewood uh, in 2011, so you must have a lot of stories, both about Bond and others. Well. Um, absolutely. We've, we've, we've been associated with 1,500 films over the last 75 years. Many of them have been huge blockbuster hits, um, but there are many that are small and independent and, and bring their own values. Um, but it, the, the privilege of being at Pinewood is, is all of the little uh, uh, pieces of film history that you see as you go around every corner. I'm just thinking of that Aston Martin outside, which was driving around in Goldfinger's factory, all out there in Buckinghamshire. So, I mean, that, that's the privilege, but our, our business is about driving uh, the industry forward. Uh, we're one of the pillars that support uh, the creativity in the UK film industry, and we're very much looking towards the future. What's it like when, the Bonds, uh, when Bond comes to Pinewood? Do they take over? You've got the largest sound set in Europe, is it? Or? At 60,000 square feet, the Bond stage is the biggest in Europe. Uh, but for some filmmakers, it's not big enough anymore. And uh, Bond are, are a, a particularly wonderful uh, franchise to keep coming back to the studios. And we love to see them every time. Uh, we occasionally wrestle with them about how much of the space they can actually have. We, um, but other filmmakers, I mean, I'm thinking of Ridley Scott's Prometheus, uh, they built a set that was twice the size of the Bond stage. Um, I mean, Pinewood is packed at, at, at the moment. Uh, how important has the film tax credit been to the success of Pinewood in recent years? Well, one of the pillars that supports creativity and inward investment in the UK is clearly the fiscal incentive. Um, and that, ha that has been a wonderful boost, and thanks to the government for uh, extending that yet That's further. That's why I asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, you're doing very well, I think. <laughs> Well, we just, we just need you to fulfil the promise on uh, high-end television, animation and video games. Now, is that going to help as well? Is that something that Pinewood will benefit from as well and others? We're very much looking forward to that. 
Um, what, what's, what's really true about the production of audiovisual content these days is that it is converging in so many ways. Uh, if you're looking at your uh, blockbuster film, Prince of Persia, and you're seeing the quality of the image on the screen there, you'll want to exceed, uh, see the same quality on your video game of Prince of Persia. And the, uh, the ability of Pinewood to leverage its infrastructure to provide uh, the cost efficiencies that uh, all of the producers need is really how we uh, stand out from the crowd. Can you tell me a bit about uh, what a modern film set is like? Because obviously to the layman, i.e. me, you walk in, you see an enormous warehouse and a few offices and you think, what's the big deal? What is it when, when a film comes to town and a lot of uh, inward investors want to make films at Pinewood, what are they getting that they can't just put up somewhere else? At well, it's, it's about leveraging infrastructure. It's about uh, not recreating cost unnecessarily. Being on location, for instance, is a very expensive exercise. It's very risky. You can't control the external environment in the same way as you can within a film studio. Uh, but a very simple example, a few years ago, we, we invested about $10 million upgrading our power supply. Uh, and we now have power that would run the equivalent of a small UK town of about 50,000 people. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but making that kind of infrastructure available to filmmakers is very important. But not only does that power um, provide power to the stages, it, it runs our data servers, which create, the, which are the digital world in which film editors can cut their film, in which our broadcast business and our transmission business can run live television shows and supply uh, images wherever we need to send them around the world on behalf of those film producers. And you've got an underwater tank as well. Well, that's just uh, sheer <laughs> fun, that one. <laughs> that's an essential part of your infrastructure. It marries up with the external paddock tank, um, which was built in the 1950s for the, uh, the first Titanic film, A Night to Remember. But the underwater stage is, is unique. It uh, provides an extra environment. It creates an, another piece of efficiency. So if you think about the film Casino Royale, uh, at the end, the, the action sequence where Bond uh, goes into the, uh, the villa uh, chasing the baddies, that was on the 007 stage. Then you go outside into the paddock tank and you see the Venice Palazzo collapsing. And then you come inside into the U stage, in the underwater stage, and you see the elevator scene uh, towards the end of the film. When I visited the set of Dark Shadows, which was in no way related to my desire to meet Johnny Depp, uh, one of the things that struck me was you, Pinewood had recreated a main fishing village uh, on the set. And one of the things I learned there was that skills in the film industry go right across the board. So you might think about post-production, high-tech, but actually you're also talking about set design and set building, in which uh, Britain, again, has a lot of skills. But I also learned about Pinewood, uh, Pinewood's apprenticeship program. Can you say a little about that? Because I think investing in skills, maintaining those skills for the future is incredibly important. Absolutely. I mean, if, you, if you look at the list of credits at the end of a major film, you'll see a vast range of talents there. Uh, you need creative skills, technical skills, artistic skills, business skills, and they all come together in this collaborative process. So it's absolutely essential for our, for our audiovisual industry uh, that we, uh, we focus on these to drive the industry going forward. Um, and we're very pleased that, uh, again, this, this government has taken the initiative in terms of reacting to the Livingston Hope Report to create uh, the scientific sk skills in schools for the future generations of people that will be working in post-production and elsewhere in the industry. Yeah, um, uh, th that's a fact. But you're also investing in your own films as well, aren't you, Pinewood? Uh, yes, we are. It's, uh, it was uh, 30 years since Pinewood last invested in feature films. Uh, the first is now out in the cinemas, and our second will be coming out uh, later this year. And there's two more on the blocks, hopefully before the end of the year. Now, we think of Pinewood as a physical place stuck in the UK. You can't possibly be an export industry, but you are. You're expanding around the globe. Are you t you're taking the brand to other countries? Pinewood has a wonderful brand. It's associated with quality and expertise, and that, that's, that's been the work of the people at Pinewood over the last 75 years. And uh, other territories around the world are keen to, to tap into that expertise. Uh, so we now have uh, facilities in Toronto, Berlin, uh, shortly in Malaysia, 
and later this year in the Dominican Republic. And what are your challenges going forward, would you say? What are the next five years? You might say planning, for example. <laughs> well, the, the, the one aspect of our business is we, we are bounded by uh, the physical constraints of the site, and we are looking, as you know, to extend, expand, expand that. Uh, I think capacity across the board in the UK is going to be a challenge for all of us. The UK is a very popular destination for audiovisual content production, and we need to respond to that rising demand by putting in place the infrastructure that will support it. Because, I mean, that's the other thing that interested me when I, you know, heard about your expansion plans, because, again, uh, what it said to me was kind of two things. First of all, it was a vote of confidence in the, the film industry. So we live in an age where we talk a lot about piracy, but you are investing uh, in your business because you anticipate growth in content, if I can put it in the broadest terms. Uh, but also, it's uh, investment in physical space at a time when a lot of computer animation is, is taking over. So how do you see those? So you, you're saying that you've got strong confidence in content creation going forward and strong confidence in the need to have physical space to make that content. I think the important other factor there is the co-location of skills. You know, our business is about providing that infrastructure, but al alongside us we have 300 other businesses that are working at Pinewood, a team of 1,500 people who are constantly there uh, working within the industry. Um, and we have the confidence to invest. We're, 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 we're ready to respond to that challenge that uh, is there for the future. Um, obviously, billions of people are watching this broadcast around the world. It's been a fantastic advert for Pinewood. So could you say a little bit about the competition you face in the UK from Leaveston, Ealing, Elstree? Well, I'm delighted that uh, Warner Brothers have come to the UK and, and revitalised Leavesden in the way that they have. But our competition is global. Uh, when, when you're talking about film or television production, these now can travel anywhere around the world. And we have to, uh, to work to keep them here in the UK and to foster all of the skills and the, and, and the infrastructure we talked about. Fantastic. Well, uh, thank you very much. It's been fascinating to talk to you. Um, I think in about an hour's time we might see uh, something of the uh, new Bond movie. Just uh, before we go, can you tell us what role you're playing in the new Bond movie that's coming out? <laughs> well, our role is behind the scenes, as it should be. Fantastic. Thank you, Ed. Thank you